You don't know what we're doing, right? Kind of. You know the show Master Chef, obviously. Oh yeah, very well. I was one of the Master Chef Asia. So I'm gonna have you react to the worst dishes on Master Chef. Basically, an orange chicken with the snap peas with the orange infused rice. What is your impression of the first dish? Just looking at it. You know, looking at that, uh, just looking at her face. <laughs> you know, sometimes you you can feel the energy from someone who make the food, right? She has no, no character. character. Yeah. Doesn't know. <laughs> Can't be this mean to them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, this is the dish, not oh. the personal insults. <laughs> I, I got to really have to feel that person who is making that dish. So, <laughs> is it a little bit too mean? Yeah. <laughs> no character. <laughs> Pretty bland. Well, you know, I look... <laughs> Now I'm looking at her face. <laughs> you know, there, there's no, there's no structure. The whole dish, mm. there is no design, there's no structure, and furthermore, the color is so terrible. This is the problem with this whole round. It's boring. It's, it's, it's not the spirit of what we came here to do. I have to say, you know, one thing she did right. She put a pair of chopsticks on. She did. did. Yeah, because you know why. Because he was using a knife and fork to eat it because it would taste better with a pair of chopsticks. So you don't get as much. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, second dish? Mm -hmm. A um, sweet and savory dish with um, lamb, shrimp, and fresh fruit. And this is a passion fruit ginger sauce. What are your first impressions? Che is it a cheese dip? No, passion fruit fondue. Passion fruit fondue with so lamb and shrimp. And the strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if you look at people experience forget about what they cook you know just like you can tell their experience has been experienced where have they been <laughs> where the hell was she where, like lamb and shrimp in the passion fruit dip with strawberry okay i'll put some strawberry maybe give a little color with pop the word is like oh make it pop what do you think of the presentation you know, it looks like it's in kindergarten. Decided to bring a potluck. Mom, I'm gonna make it to my school for my for my classmate. And this is what you're gonna look like. You gotta be kidding me. Slim, this is like a, a buffet gone bad. <laughs> Go back to your station. I'm not tasting this crap. You guys have to, at this point in the competition, you need to be listening to what we're telling you about what we're producing because this is ridiculous. Would you have tasted it? I would, you know, because I would taste the lamb with the passion fruit. Probably taste good. You know, the combo is wrong. It's like a circus that's really doesn't know how to perform. You know what I mean? Bananas <laughs> with duck. You've gone bananas. <laughs> that's what's happened. You've gone bananas. It's banana or duck gross. <laughs> Plantain would be much better if it's in the family, but with bananas? Yeah, you've gone fucking bananas, you guys. Come on. Oh, I hit him in the head with a banana. The MasterChef title is definitely mine. I made a pistachio, cranberry, cherry, and gooseberry risotto. What do you think? <laughs> oh, wow. Is it a dessert? No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. What does the risotto look like? Well, it looks like a you know, Skydome in Toronto. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> This guy don't gone wrong, you know. You put fruits, and then you have gooseberry, you got cherries, you get cranberries dry. This is a disaster. This guy, I don't know what he's thinking about. He may be Steph. thinking about Christmas tree. What's this? What's this baby powder looking stuff here? That's hazelnut and walnuts mixed with some tapioca maltodextrin. I wanted to give it a little bit of. Um... You know what it is? It's garbage. Is what it is. What you did on that dish is inappropriate, and ultimately kind of disgusting. Congratulations. <laughs> Are you the mean judge when you're on the show? No, I wasn't mean. I was just fair. I was just, you know, professional. But if people have to say that, yeah, I'm, I was a pretty tough one. What is that? It's a flatbread with duck and three cheeses of provolone, mozzarella. I made a sauce out of creme fraiche. What do you think of it? Actually, this one, I would eat it. They look good. You know, crème fraîche and duck taste good. Uh, chives, onion powder, garlic powder. And <laughs> it's served on a bed of raw flour, right? So would you still eat that? Uh, no. What with the flour, with the whole bunch of flour in your so mouth? So how does that how, how does that happen? It's just because when you rolled it, it's got sticky. Probably it's getting too warm, and then you put more flour in it. So you think you think the flour would help you 
Release the dough. <laughs> that was not my intention. My intention was to roll out my, roll my flatbread and get it into the oven. I mean, here's the thing. You work in a mess, you produce a mess. I'm struggling to identify what the hell you're doing. OK, Tali. Hey, chef. Him again? It's a sous vide Arctic char uh. over <laughs> green lentils. I wanted to sous vide. Arctic char green lentils. Mm-hmm. Does it look bad? Uh, the lentil is really dry. My fish today, so I can kind of pr produce a. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the show is Master Chef. Okay. What do chefs do? Chefs cook. Right. So it's not Master Orator or <laughs> Master Tell Me About What My Intention Is About Cooking. It's Master Chef. You think you're going to impress us with things like sous vide, emulsify? So at the end of the day, what you have here is basically destroyed lentils, because I can see they're all exploded and overcooked. You have a bunch of herb scraps with no dressing on them. You got a piece of fatty, nasty looking bacon on top of some poorly conceived cooked Arctic char. The point of sous vide is to lock in those flavors. Yes, sir. And I watch you cook and I just get so pissed off with you around. You're misinterpreting the competition. It's master chef, not master bait. <laughs> I couldn't believe they can say that on TV. I, know, I, don't, I don't think they can say that anymore. I think it was the very early of the show, right? Oh, wow. I mean, you got a second? That's incredible. It made it seem like it was going to be good. <laughs> Incredibly bad. That is so mean. Really screw him up. Are you serious? Did you drive over it? What is it? Try over. Macerated strawberries on top of a banana puree. I don't know what to say, guys. We're gonna oh, eat it. Oh, oh, this is you know this is elimination, right? What's the gray bits? It's a banana puree. So what do you think? Oh my god, that this is. It's like a little bit kid playing, trying to learn how to make a dessert. I, I couldn't believe they actually, you know, got those contestants. The odds of one of those chefs probably knows you from the videos. Is high, so what do you have to say to some of the people that made the dish? Oh, you mean the people actually? Yeah. I mean, just pack your fucking knife. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the kitchen. <laughs> Seriously, I think really, you know, uh, when you're not ready for a title of uh, Master Chef Kitchen, just don't go there. You know, you, your skill is not there. Yeah, but some people just... just do bad dishes on the show. Do you think on purposely? Marge. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was a good dish. What was your favorite dish and least favorite dish? Well, in that, out of those? Yeah. Well, you know, I start thinking about, you know, the first girl has the best dish. <laughs> yeah, at least, I at least it looks like I would eat something like that. Then a freaking puree of banana on a over-baked meringue. So what was the worst dish, do you think? <laughs> The fondue is the worst. If you like this video, guys, subscribe, press the button, and see you next week.